Randall. Well, Blake Barnes was just starting a career with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet, and as other workers were performing routine maintenance on Highway Route 270, Barnes was flagging traffic when he was hit by a van. He was a good worker. He was an even better friend. Co-workers yeah. of Blake Barnes sure remembering their friend outside a Hodgenville funeral home. Barnes was working as a flagman on this stretch of old Elizabethtown Road in LaRue County early Tuesday morning. That's when a 74-year-old man driving a white van failed to see Barnes. The young highway worker was hit by the van and died at the scene. Last time we saw him was Thunder Over Louisville when we worked it. And we all hung out, had, you know, had a good day. Today just, I mean, just doesn't feel real. Barnes co-workers arrived at his visitation in uniform for two reasons. As a tribute to their fallen colleague and to spread awareness of how dangerous their job can be. Anything could happen whenever you're out on the road working in general. I mean, this unfortunately is something that could happen in a split second. And in a split second, a husband, father, highwayman, and volunteer firefighter was gone. He came to me in October and said he was a junior volunteer at another department previously, and he missed it and wanted to get back into it and help his community. Barnes, just 22 years old, leaves behind a wife and two children with another on the way. Addie Barnes is eight months pregnant. She's taking it real hard, but we made sure she knew that the fire department is a family and she's still part of our family and we're here for for anything she needs. He was a great father. He, he loved his kids, his wife. He loved being around everybody. As for the 74-year-old driver who struck and killed Blake Barnes, Kentucky State Police tell me he will not be charged in this case. Reporting live in studio, Randall Cam, WOKY News.